Hello everyone, welcome to Simsad Aesthetics, I am a professional aesthetician and cosmetologist. Today's video is about a non-invasive, carboxytherapy treatment, its benefits, risks, procedure and more for your hair loss, so subscribe my channel for more latest updates. Section 1. What is carboxytherapy? Carboxytherapy is a medical and cosmetic procedure that involves the controlled administration of carbon dioxide CO2 gas beneath the skin. Originally developed in France in the 1930s, to treat circulatory disorders, it has since been adapted for aesthetic and dermatological uses, including hair loss treatment. Section 2. The Science Behind Carboxytherapy for Hair Loss Carboxytherapy works by leveraging the body's natural response to carbon dioxide CO2, to stimulate hair growth. When medical-grade CO2 is injected into the scalp, it creates a temporary state of hypoxia, low oxygen. First, the vasodilation effect occurs as CO2 prompts the release of nitric oxide NO, a potent vasodilator that expands blood vessels, enhancing blood flow and oxygen delivery to hair follicles. This improved circulation supports follicle health and function. Additionally, carboxytherapy promotes angiogenesis, the formation of new blood vessels, which ensures a sustained supply of nutrients and oxygen to the scalp over time. Some research also suggests that CO2 may activate hair follicle stem cells, encouraging dormant follicles to enter the growth phase. While carboxytherapy is not a direct DHT dihydrotestosterone, blocker, the increased blood flow may help reduce the damaging effects of DHT on follicles, slowing down miniaturization in cases of androgenetic alopecia. These combined effects make carboxytherapy a scientifically supported option for improving hair density and promoting regrowth in thinning scalps. According to a 2018 study in the Journal of Cosmetic Dermatology found that, Carboxytherapy significantly increased hair density in patients with androgenetic alopecia. Another 2021 study reported visible hair regrowth in 70% of participants after 8 to 12 sessions. Section 3. Who is the best candidate for carboxytherapy? Carboxytherapy is not for everyone, it works best for specific cases. The ideal candidates are those with early stage hair loss sufferers, Norwood 1 to 3 those people with thinning due to poor circulation, or those people with androgenetic alopecia, male or female pattern baldness. And it's also a great non-surgical, drug-free option for individuals who didn't see results with minoxidil or PRP. However, some should avoid it, including pregnant or breastfeeding women, those people with severe heart conditions, those people with active scalp infections or psoriasis, and those with blood clotting disorders. Always consult a specialist before starting treatment. Section 4. The Carboxytherapy Procedure, Step-by-Step. Step. Before the treatment. First, you will need a consultation with a dermatologist or esthetician to determine your hair loss type and suitability for carboxytherapy. To prepare, avoid blood thinners like aspirin or ibuprofen for 48 hours before your session, as they can increase bruising. Also, steer clear of alcohol and smoking for at least 24 hours beforehand, as they can affect circulation and healing. During the procedure, the treatment begins with a thorough scalp cleansing to prevent infections. If you're sensitive to discomfort, a topical numbing cream may be applied for comfort. Next, the practitioner uses a fine needle to inject small amounts of medical-grade CO2 gas into targeted areas of the scalp. The injections are quick and spaced strategically to maximize blood flow stimulation. After the injections, the scalp is gently massaged to help distribute the gas evenly. After care and recovery, you might experience mild redness, swelling, or a tingling sensation, but these side effects usually fade within a few hours. For the first 24 hours, avoid intense workouts, saunas, or swimming to prevent irritation. Stick to gentle, sulfate-free shampoos and avoid harsh hair treatments to let your scalp heal properly. Following these steps ensures optimal results and minimizes any risks. Section 5. How many sessions are needed? Expected results treatment frequency. Carboxytherapy typically requires 6 to 8 initial sessions, spaced once a week, to stimulate hair follicles effectively. After this phase, a maintenance plan of one session per month for three to six months helps sustain results. Patients usually notice reduced hair shedding within four to six weeks, with visible regrowth appearing by three to four months. 
However, full results, including thicker, denser hair, may take 6 to 12 months, depending on the severity of hair loss. Studies and patient reports suggest a 60 to 80% success rate in improving hair density, with results lasting 1 to 2 years. To maintain these benefits, periodic touch-up sessions are recommended, as hair loss is often progressive. While individual responses vary, consistent treatment maximizes long-term outcomes. Section 6. Carboxytherapy versus Other Hair Loss Treatments When comparing carboxytherapy to other popular hair loss treatments, each option has unique mechanisms, benefits, and drawbacks. Minoxidil, Rogaine, is a topical vasodilator that slows hair loss and promotes regrowth. It's FDA-approved and easy to use, but results disappear if treatment stops, and it can cause scalp irritation. Finasteride, Propecia, an oral DHT blocker, is highly effective for male pattern baldness but comes with potential side effects. PRP, platelet-rich plasma, therapy uses growth factors from the patient's blood to stimulate follicles. It's natural and long-lasting but can be expensive and requires multiple sessions. Hair transplants provide permanent results by relocating healthy follicles to thinning areas. However, they are invasive, costly, and carry risks like scarring. Carboxytherapy stands out as a non-surgical, drug-free alternative that enhances blood flow to the scalp. While it requires multiple sessions, it has minimal side effects and works well alongside other treatments like PRP. Which is best? It depends on your hair loss stage, budget, and preference for non-invasive versus surgical solutions. Section 7. Risks and Side Effects of Carboxytherapy While carboxytherapy is generally safe, some patients may experience mild side effects, including temporary redness, swelling, or bruising at the injection sites. In rare cases, dizziness may occur due to the absorption of CO2, though this typically subsides quickly. To minimize infection risks, it's crucial to ensure the procedure is performed under sterile conditions by a licensed professional. Choosing an experienced esthetician and strictly following post-treatment care instructions, such as avoiding excessive heat, harsh hair products, or vigorous scratching, can significantly reduce potential complications and enhance results. Always consult a certified specialist before undergoing treatment. A dermatologist can help determine the right approach for you. Section 8. Cost Analysis The cost of carboxytherapy varies by clinic and location. A single session runs $150 to $400, with most patients needing 6 to 8 sessions, $1,200 to $3,200 total. Maintenance treatments cost $100 to $250 monthly to maintain results. Final verdict, is carboxytherapy worth it? Carboxytherapy offers a non-surgical, drug-free solution with minimal downtime and few side effects. It pairs well with treatments like PRP or minoxidil for better results. However, it requires multiple sessions, isn't effective for advanced baldness, and costs add up over time. If you have mild to moderate thinning and prefer a natural approach, it's worth considering, but consult a specialist first to see if it's right for you. Carboxytherapy is a safe, innovative, and scientifically backed treatment for hair loss. While not a miracle cure, it offers real benefits for those struggling with thinning hair, not for completely bald. Would you try carboxytherapy? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and share this video, and subscribe my channel.